hapa na kushukuru sana kwa kutembelea shule hii yetu ya Itabwa. Sisi kama alumni tumefurahia sana kutembelea wanafunzi hapa na kuwasaidia na stationery za kuweza kufanya mtihani wao. Tunatakia kila laheri. Mbere mbere ni nikwa kusokeri alumni ngalo. Ningi mufoya na geteo mweshimu wa David adhi na mbere kuserera sukuru sukuru sionde si ambeti watoria serera sukuru eno eta kwa ya etavu wa primary school na kutethele ya siyana na indo siya kukoro na makufota kutia na mbere na weka exam kuhu ningi uga mweshimu wa David kaya muradhime na mweke wega na rumina ipa moncha na timu ile onde tunge kula tura muvire tena yo na nga yate liye kuma siyari nginya alimo tuka adieto muikeva umbere batika lete nega ilage mutongoli wa kutia na mbere na kutethele ya masukuru na mjambo Asanti, nataka mnipe tu dakika takriban dakika tatu nikizidisha dakika mbili na nusu. Mko tayari? So you are my young brothers and sisters. First is to thank Mrs. Munyi and our head teacher in absentia and the school administration and above all the Alumni Itabua Primary School Alumni Association who have made this day a success. My young people, the young generation, it is always said that those who have the youth, and we are tomorrow, those who have the youth, they own tomorrow. And friends, let me tell you, so many people have succeeded in this institution. As you have had good examples, many have been magistrates, engineers, Lawyers, doctors, accountants, we have a good example here. David is here, he's an accountant. Up all the way to CPAK, then that means the soil in Itabo Primary School, the soil is so fertile. All we need to do is just to plant a seed, a seed of hope and a seed of strength and hope and optimism, optimism for a better tomorrow. Because as we echo my young children, as we echo the words of Nelson Mandela, Nelson Mandela was jailed for 27 years for the people of South Africa to attain their independence. That a sacrifice and determination. And this is what he had to say. He said, education is the most powerful weapon to change the society. Why? Because through education, a son of a peasant farmer has a chance to become a doctor. A son of a mine has a chance through education to become the director of the mine. A son of the poorest person in the village will become a president. Therefore, young people, believe in your dreams. Believe in yourselves. Be convinced that you can conquer the mountain. Be convinced you will score above 350 and get to your favorite school and get a blessed future. I've not had anyone clap for that prophecy. Today, today, I'm here to make a prophecy. I'm here to make an acclamation. As the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 2 says, write your dreams, write your dreams, write your visions in visible letters. And kia mungu, and kia mungu that what you want to become. And God is not a respecter of persons. Whatever you want you to get, you are going to get. Mami, don't be shocked. Don't even remember where we came from in the morning. Let us forget about our background. Because that's exactly what we did. And this yellow uniform, this maroon pullover, is a symbol of greatness. We have come from here, and you yourselves as well. Your future is going to be bright more than you think. Also remember to nurture your talents. Bring them. I've seen my friend there is a good artist. What's the name of the artist? A light on any artist? An artist. An. Have you done Amen. To party, amen. Amen. Na makofi moja. She has drawn an akona uwezo mkubwa sana wa kuchora. Na mimi nitampatia job. Nitamwajia kalenda moja hapa ni chore. Na vile hata ni chora nitaikujia. Nitakujia picha yangu eh, kesho. Mmembea rusa. Eh. Eh. So what am I saying? My little ones I'm saying we remain focused, we keep on moving because this seed will germinate and you will become whatever you wish to become. Have that vision, have a reason, have a purpose to live for because even the Bible itself, 
in the book of Proverbs, it says, those without dreams and visions, they will perish. Therefore, have a purpose. Mami, have a purpose. Bro, have a papa. Say, mami, nataka kuwa daktari. Na mi nafanya kazi u daktari. Nataka kuwa wakili, nafanya kazi u wakili. Nataka kuwa daktari, mi nafanya kazi u daktari. Otherwise, mwenyezi mungu atawabariki sana. Na ndoto zenyu zote zitatimia. Kama bile rafiki yangu alisema, nimesoma hapa, nimekuja hapa kuleta shukrani kwa sababu ya iyo nafasi. Na tena, nita watuma salamu kwa wazazi pia. Mwasalimie, wambiwa mesalimiwa ni DNK mwanainchi Ama wamesalimiwa ni David Njiro Karioki Ambaye anagombea kiti cha MCA Amesomea itabwa Na sinivizuri itabwa ikiwa na kiongozi, sio? Sindiyo nikipata ndiyo nitaweza kuachia kwa sababu metoka hapa Sini kweli? You are the tomorrow You are the tomorrow And trust you me, the future is now You must prepare it today Kwa hivyo nitawacha na two things. One, nitawacha na kitu inaitua 5P rule. Inaitua 5P rule. Iwa inasema hivi. Prior preparation prevents poor performance. What does it say? Prior preparation prevents poor performance. Kwa hivyo lazima tuzidi kujianda na tuzidi kuvalue the power of seconds. Wale ambao walichagua shule inaitua Capsa Bet Boys. Nimekuwa nimepeleka vijana Capsa Bet Boys waende benchmarking. Na wakati nipeleka vijana Capsa Bet Boys, nilipata Capsa Bet Boys wako na one philosophy. Inaitwa the power of a second. Nilishangaa sana vijana wa Capsa Bet Boys wameambiwa ni walimu twendeni kwa uwanja tunataka ku exam. Vijana wa Capsa Bet Boys ati mwalimu atachukua dakika moja kutoka staff room kuingia kwa uwanja. Iyo dakika moja, nitakuwa nimebeba um, a set book hadi kwa uwanja. Nitakuwa nasoma. Iyo dakika moja hiyo, nitakuwa nimesoma a whole page. Kwa hivyo, to value the power of the second, because a second is very, very powerful. Kama unataka kuelewa maana ya the importance of a second, angalia Kipchoge Keino. The only man ambaya likimbia two, 42 kilometers marathons with one hour and 59 minutes. Kwa sababu tunangoja karatazi ya isabati, ukipika isabu average speed ya huyo mwanaume, alikuwa nakimbia 5.75 meters per second. Ebu tufanya approximation. 5.7 meters per second ni kutoka wapi? Pale, mpaka njia mlango. Sio? 5.7. Sio, feet is 1 meter. Sekunde moja hivi. 42 kilometers. Kwa hivyo, inakuambia nini? Nikiketi chini hivi, Ni some hiyo sekunde moja. Siku zirizo baki. Uenda ni kabadirisha mwelekeo wa maisha yangu. Seme ni amen. Yes. Tuta soma. Yes. Tuta utilize your second. Yes. The bottom line of our talk today. Nitawachia ten words. Na each word ikona two letters. Hii ndiyo my summary. Ten words. Na each word ikona how many letters? Two. This is the sentence. Ukiweza kuyandika uweza uenda kwa yandika anywhere. Uwa inasema hivi. If if it is to be if it is to be if it is to be it is up to me if it is to be it is up to me. Hizo ni words, hizo ni ten words. Words zako ni ngapi? Zinafaa kuwa kumi. Eh, ni ngapi? Si ni ten. Ebu tuzirudie. Ten words, each with how many letters? Two. And I want us to say it louder. That, one, two, ready, go. If it is to be, it is up to me. Again, if it is to be, it is up to me. The last time, if it is to be, it is up to me. Asante sana. Si usalimi ya mwenza kwa hapo na umuambie, you must have been a beautiful child. You must have been a beautiful child. You must have been a beautiful child.
Kwa hivyo mtaniruhusu mwalimu asante sana. Wase.